Welcome to today's episode of AJ's YouTube. We got a bunch of mail to open today. I'm pretty sure this has something to do with cards. I know it's extremely big, but I feel something in this corner, which is kind of crazy. I'm like, who the hell sent us this for a card? But yeah, we're gonna get into it, man. We got a whole bunch of mail. And let's just see what we got. I might not need the knife for this. Let's find out. I think I can just rip this. I think there's there's a letter in here. Is there a letter? Ha! There is a letter. Alright, how about that? Alright, we got a little one. And I'm gonna be honest, there is no um top loader in here. So that kind of scares me. Alright, what is it, man? What is it? What is this in? Is it one card? I can't tell. Let's just find out. Ah! Diviner of the Herald. That makes sense. I see now. I can't believe they sent this without a top loader. That's crazy. I don't know how to open this. What is this in? Alright, so I believe it rips down from this side. I've never seen a card sealed or sent like this ever before. But there it is. Diviner of the Herald. Come on down. I gotta go in there to get it. Ugh, there we go. Jeez. Alright, well that's about as crispy as it gets. No sleeve or nothing. Unbelievable. God, it sure does shine though. Holy crap. If this card is normal or special summoned, you can send one fairy monster from your deck or extra deck to the graveyard. And if you do, increase this card's level by that monster's level until the end of this turn. If this card is tributed, you can special summon one level two or lower fairy monster from your hand or deck, except this one. So, I was told you don't really use the second effect. It has to be tributed. And then you can special summon. But I beg to differ. I believe you could. You could uh, tribute this. No, I guess it would be your normal summon. Damn. If this wasn't your normal summon, then you could actually tribute this for um, Vanity's Ruler. But yeah. Alright, well, I'm happy that that's here. Very happy love to get two more of them and have the play set. That would be incredible. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Alright. What do we got here? Ah! My three Plunder Patrol booty. That is all I needed for my Plunder Patrols. Besides, like, an extra deck monster, too, just to, like, you know, make the numbers right. But I can easily play that deck right now. I think I just want, like, a third copy of something and something, so. Let me readjust this. I totally dropped this. Uh... Oh, we got some island. Island. Some lands. Um, I, I dropped my stand, so I had to readjust it before this video. And I think it actually looks a little better. You can kind of see further out. All right, this one is... Speaking of Plunder Patrol, here's our third copy of the Link Monster. So now we got all three of him. Well, like I said, I could already play it, but now I'm definitely gonna have the numbers that I want. So, happy about that. Pay attention for the... Uh, you know, 
deck profile coming up one of these weeks of that. Oh man, this is gorgeous. Oh, this is gorgeous. Oh my god, that's gorgeous. Mech Knight Crusadia Avermax. Like, I got a bunch of ultra rares, but I just wanted one secret rare version of this card. Golly, is that thing gorgeous. Because I like to play Avermax in a lot of different decks. And, uh, yeah. It's a very good card. This one is heavy as hell. I'm not sure what the Christmas is in here. But it is heavy. Alright, what do we got? What do we got? We're dropping stuff. Okay, we have our S Forge Edge Razor. Um, I don't know if those are all S Razors. We got Edda, the Sun Magician, Amazement. Alright, so this is basically all Riliona, Ultimate Dragonic, Utopia Ray. Um, I know for sure I got three of these. I think I just got one of these, one of these. Probably got three of these edge razors. But yeah, a bunch of uh, lightning overdrive cards that were really cheap, so I just snatched them up. When cards like first come out, oh, you know what? Speaking of lightning overdrive, finally got these bad boys in. I don't know why people are sleeping on this. I think it's good. I think it's good. I'm just gonna say that. It's, you know, two plus plant monsters. You gotta make it into a Link 4. Came out of Lightning Overdrive. During the main phase, quick effect. You can target one effect monster your opponent controls. Take damage equal to its attack. And if you did take damage, return it to the hand. All right, fine. As long as I can target it, I'll take the damage and get that card the heck out of there. If this card is in your graveyard, you can banish two or more Link monsters from your graveyard whose combined Link rating equal exactly four, and then special summon this card, but banish it, it will lose the field. So it can come back if it must, but you can take a little damage and get rid of some cards. That's all I'm saying. Take some damage, get rid of a problem card. And even if it's not like the plant boss, at least, you know, there's not a lot of plant bosses anyway, as far as I'm concerned. So why not have, you know, a plant co-boss, you know? The co-pilot. This thing, however, first edition from Battles of Legend Heroes Return or something like that. I forget exactly. If this card is summoned, draw one card. And it's a reptile. And you know what's funny about reptiles? Well, there's a deck specifically made with reptiles in it. And they special summon reptiles like crazy. And this one is a beautiful secret rare that lets you draw a card and then you can just tribute it for one of the ones in the graveyard. So yeah, play a set of these. Um, I don't know why, I guess people were sleeping on them. I guess they don't like to draw cards. Me, I do. And it just says if it's summoned. Doesn't matter if it's special, normal, whatever. If it's summoned, draw one card. Only use it once per turn, but that's fine. keep recurring it really you don't even have to play three of them send it to the graveyard off snake rain and you know uh water lily it back or monster reborn or something and then tribute it off why am i opening this what is this oh my files are finally here all right well yeah those are going into the uh salmon great deck i don't know why but i never pulled two foul I didn't pull any foul, so uh, yeah, there it is. I got my foul. And what are we ending on? Let it be something sweet. Lightning overdrive again. Oh my lord, today is a lightning overdrive day apparently. This thing. All right, let's see what you're doing here. Level seven. Level 7 Light Dragon with 2024. You can tribute summon this card by tributing one effect monster. Okay. During your opponent's main phase, if this card, or if a card is added from the main deck to their hand, oh yeah, I remember what this card does. Except by drawing it. 
And this card is in your hand. So basically, if your opponent searches a card, if they use Tanky, Rota, whatever, Monster Effect to get the field spell, if they go in their deck and they grab a card, specifically, search a card, you can make them, immediately after this effect resolves, uh, treat some of this card, this card is not a special one, you can make your opponent banish the top cards of their deck face down equal to the number of cards in their hand. Then, they shuffle their entire hand into the deck, and if they do, they add the cards banished by this effect to their hand. You can only use this once per turn, so. They use Tanky, you let them get whatever they got, and then, booyah, you bring out this bad boy. Let me read something here. Treat summon this card. Okay, now I get why it says you can treat summon by, you know, one effect monster. So during your opponent's main phase, if they add a card, you know, except by drawing it, immediately after, treat summon this card. And you can tribute summon it by tributing one effect monster. So basically, you have to have a monster on field. You had to have gone first. And if you did go first, and you put a monster down on field, you could tribute that monster to bring this out, to ruin your opponent's day. Possibly. Maybe they, they draw the nuts, I don't know. But if they don't, you stopped him, and you're gonna get a 2400 defense light dragon out there. There's no way in hell I wasn't gonna grab this. My mentality on this is the same with every hand trap. When there is a hand trap, a new hand trap that comes out, whether it be Phantasme or um, whatever this thing is, the one that came out of Blazing Vortex that I got a starlight out of, I also got the playset though. I buy a playset of every hand trap I can because you just don't know when the relevancy uh, will appear or happen, I, I should say, what meta game, you know, what format. Bam! You know, six months from now, this might be the only card that seems to slow the opponent down or, you know, just put a dead stop to their plays. You don't know. And I'm not going to act like I just am all-knowing. I've seen too many times where I looked at a card, thought it was amazing, and it wasn't shit. And then I've seen cards where I looked at and thought, you know, whoop de doo And then the next thing you know, we're all buying them. I had Ice Dragon's Prison. I had a bunch of Ice Dragon's Prisons when it was $3, and I thought, man, this card is retarded. Like, I, whatever um, matches I was playing, when I went to use Ice Dragon's Prison, they wouldn't even have the same monster on field that they had in the graveyard, so I couldn't even banish anything. And it was just screwing me over and over again. And I thought, how stupid is this card? And now fast forward to the damn thing is like, you know, 55, 60 bucks, and it, it's meta warping, you know? just goes to show you're not always the smartest uh, person in the room, so I would definitely won't claim to be. Three of these, three of these, one of those, one of those, three of those, two of these, three of these, bunches of those, and just one Herald. Uh, that's what we got for today's mail day. Thank you for watching and listening to me babble on, but uh, yeah. Pretty soon I'll have that Plunder Profile deck swinging onto the channel. Gotta, you know, play it first. And uh, play it with the right hand trap or right traps. Because I didn't have those traps the last time I played. Because I didn't know that existed. So, now that I know, I'll make it happen. Alright, I'm out of here, man. Thanks for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, all that great stuff. I'm out. Peace.